The silence of the demonstrators outside the Irish Parliament tonight was caused by sorrow and by anger. And it's the anger that may yet force change as once again the issue of abortion divides the nation. It's this woman's story that's now driving the debate. Savita Halapanavar, who was 31 and who died last month in hospital of septicemia. Her widower says she was miscarrying and she would be alive if her request for a termination hadn't been refused. It was the Indian couple's first pregnancy and they were over the moon, according to her family, until Savita was admitted to hospital with back pain. University Hospital Galway's to carry out an internal investigation. It said it couldn't comment on individual cases. But speaking from India, Mr. Halapanavar today blamed the law for his wife's death. They said that the baby is still alive, you know, and um, the law doesn't allow them to induce her, you know, apart. And as he said, it's a Catholic country. So they said that the baby is still alive. This case has hit the headlines just as the Irish government's deciding whether to reform abortion law. Abortion's illegal there unless a woman's life is at risk. Campaigners say this case proves that a change to clarify the law is needed. I think the anger is not at the circumstances of Savita's death per se. The anger is, for God's sake, if you're going to invoke his name, if you're going to invoke God into this, for God's sake, sort out the law. This is a mess. We've lived with this morass for 30 years. Do something now. I think it would be a pity if people sought to use this as some kind of a basis or an argument for legislating for abortion in Ireland. Pro-choice activists accuse successive governments of moral cowardice for not acting to give doctors clearer legal guidance. This case makes it more likely that the current coalition will finally legislate on the matter. Penny Marshall, ITV News.